this is IO Ether, and we're back with some more World Tanks. So as you can see, this is Archetype in his T1 Heavy. It's a Tier 5 tank, American. Uh, it's, of course, a Tier 5 game on Steps. I knew I'd remember the name. Uh, it's in Counter Battle. And, excuse me, before we get into the actual gameplay, just want to tell you, if you really enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out quite a bit. Uh, also, the link to my Patreon account is in the description below. Patreon account, that is, by the way. Uh, if enough of you guys support me through that, then I can take the ads off the channel. And uh, that's actually the main goal of having my Patreon account. Um, what else? Uh, links to my Facebook, Twitter, Duckster accounts, if you know what any of those are. Links are all in the description below. Go check them out. Any music or artwork, links to the guys who created it are in the description below. Yay! Uh, I think I covered everything, so let's get into the game. And yet, Archetype still hasn't got to where he's going. It's a T1 Heavy. It's not the fastest tank in the world, but it is a whole lot of fun if you can get this thing hauled down. It's also got a half decent gun. He's firing at a T14. As long as he hits uh, weak points, he should be okay. Uh, the gun is not the strongest in the world, so you shouldn't be able to pen the very front of the T14. But of course, he is shooting at the sides of it, and that's a, the side of a BDR. If he can't penetrate the side of a BDR, he's obviously not trying. Now, if you can't shoot for the weak points, or you don't know where the weak points are on T14, uh, so, uh, you know, obviously the Lord Glacius, like every other tank, is a weak point. Um, but, you know, you can shoot the, to the turret easier than the upper Glacius, so if you can only see, the, you know, if it's Lord Glacius is, is covered, shoot for that turret, you're probably going to go through if you have a decent tier 5 gun. Now, it's on to taking on the KV-1, and he's just going to, he's shooting through the front of it. Mostly he's aiming for the weak points on the front vertical uh, section of the KV armor. It's fairly thick if you don't hit the, the actual weak points, but when you know where the weak points are, it's very easy to just go straight through the driver's hatch or the machine gun port. Um, or shoot for the Gora Glacis. Do that too. And there's that BDR again. He's getting really, really annoying. But of course it's a BDR. That's what he's there to do. He doesn't have a whole lot of health. Um, actually, no, that's not true. He has more health than KV-1. Than by 10, but still, more health. Uh, but he has no armor. Absolutely none at all. It's French heavy tank. No armor whatsoever. But he does a lot of damage for his tier. Assuming, that is, that he can penetrate. So, because of the fact that he missed penetrating, and uh, that shot got eaten by <laughs> Arctic's tracks, this BDR is doing very little to to Archetype at all. And has decided that it's just not worth shooting an Archetype. He was going to shoot at somebody else instead. Didn't matter. Archetype killed him anyway. And this is the downside of being on steps in an encounter battle. This is the downside of any encounter battle. It's that if you're in a heavy and you don't push through this side fast enough, they will just cap you out. Ooh, it's a Matilda Black Prince. Now, dead driver, not great. But the fact is, he's in the right position, and he can just hammer these shots straight through the front of that tank. It's going to be really difficult for that Matilda to do the same. There we go. Now, if that was the Tier 4 Matilda, it would probably be a different story. The Tier 4 has the faster high-pen gun. It's a beautiful little tank that dominates tier 4 and some tier 5 games. However, in tier 6 it just dies, but that's that's okay. M4 doesn't look like it has the big derp gun. It had the long gun. So that game finished fast. Uh, I didn't expect it to finish that fast. I expected Archetype to have to trudge to the other side of the map to try and save his team, but apparently he's his light tanks carried fairly effectively. So that's great. Um, 1400 experience without premium, without his daily double, that's, uh, that's a lot of experience. 
and um, Harari checked, he doesn't have a mission for, uh, going on for that. That is just his actual base experience. Obviously, that earns him his ace tanker. He gets high caliber, because, you know, we need another one of those. And because it's a 9.2, it's the old steel wall metal. Let's see. Anything else cool? No, oh, not really. 2,700 2, damage dealt over 5 kills. Sadly, couldn't pick up that last kill. Couldn't grab that top gun. Not that he really needed it. Considering the fact that his experience is 900 points over the next guy's, that's kind of crazy. Um, it's almost to the point where you can add the next three guys together and not beat his experience. Not quite. It's, it's, they're a little bit over, but not by more than about 60. 62, in fact. Yes, I did that in my head right then. Um, 1500 experience. Or, 1500 experience. <sighs> this is damage blocked by armor, Ether. It's different from experience in so many ways. A little bit of spine damage, but this is the main thing. This tank is one of the first tanks that a lot of um, players get their hands on. And because we were all bad players, when we first got our hands on it, we all thought this tank sucked. This is one of the best tanks at Tier 5 um, to go brawling with. It's it's an awesome heavy. If you can get it hauled down, it is unstoppable, much like the T-29 in its own tier. And the M6 follows suit perfectly. It's why the T-29 follows after these two tanks, because they are just beautiful to hold down. And even when they're not, their frontal armor is more than people realize it is. Awesome game. I wish it lasted a little bit longer, but, you know, it's because I had so much more to say about some of this stuff. But it's okay. It was, it was a great game. Thank you so much, Archetype, for saying that in. And have a great day, guys. IOE Thrift.